According to Wikipedia, James Douglas Morrison was born on December 8, 1943, and died on July 3, 1971. He was an American singer, poet, and songwriter who was the lead vocalist of the rock band The Doors. Due to his wild personality, poetic lyrics, distinctive voice, unpredictable and erratic performances, and the dramatic circumstances surrounding his life and early death, Morrison is regarded by music critics and fans as one of the most influential frontmen in rock history. Since his death, Morrison's fame has endured as one of the popular cultural top rebellious off-displayed icons representing the generation gap in the youth counterculture. Together with pianist Ray Manzarek, Morrison founded The Doors in 1965 in Venice, California. The group spent two years in obscurity until shooting to prominence with their number one single in the United States, Light My Fire, taken from their self-titled debut album. Morrison recorded a total of six studio albums with The Doors, all of which sold well and received critical acclaim. He was well known for improvising spoken word poetry passages while the band played live. Manzarek said Morrison embodied hippie counterculture rebellion. Morrison developed an alcohol dependency throughout the band's career, which at times affected his performance on stage. On July 3, 1971, Morrison died unexpectedly in Paris at the age of 27. Amid several conflicting witness reports, his premature death is often linked with the 27 Club. Since no autopsy was performed, the cause of Morrison's death remains disputed. Although The Doors recorded two more albums after Morrison died, his death severely affected the band's fortunes, and they split up two years later. In 1993, Morrison was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with the other Doors members, and in 2011, a Rolling Stone reader's pick placed Morrison in fifth position on the magazine's best lead singers of all time, and in another Rolling Stone list of the 100 greatest singers of all time, he was ranked 47th and was also ranked the 22nd greatest singer in rock by Classic Rock magazine. I wonder if Rolling Stone has a list ranking their different lists to see which list is the most important and fun list that everybody likes to read. I don't know. Just a thought. After recording L.A. Woman with The Doors in Los Angeles, Morrison announced to the band his intention to go to Paris. His bandmates generally felt it was a good idea. In March 1971, he joined girlfriend Pamela Kirsten at an apartment in Paris that she rented. In letters to his friends, he described going for long walks through the city alone. During this time, he shaved his beard and lost some of the weight he had gained in the previous months. On July 3, 1971, Morrison was found dead in the bathtub at the apartment at approximately 6 a.m. by Corson, and he was 27 years old. The official cause of death was listed as heart failure, although no autopsy was performed as it was not required by French law. Several individuals who say they were eyewitnesses claim that his death was due to an accidental heroin overdose. However, this was never confirmed, and according to music journalist Ben Fong Torres, it was suggested that his death was kept as a secret, and the reporters who had telephoned to Paris were responded by saying that Morrison was not deceased, but tired and resting at a hospital. Morrison's death came two years to the day after the death of Rolling Stones guitarist Brian Jones and approximately nine months after the deaths of Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin. All of these popular musicians died at the age of 27, leading to the emergence of the 27 Club, urban legend. Since the date of his demise, there have been a number of conspiracy theories concerning Morrison's death. <laughs> 